We've just recently received back the findings from our semi-annual, actually, uh, survey, uh, advisor outlook study, as we call it. And it's a neat survey because we've had the opportunity now to field it for several years and to look at the comparatives that we start to see. And no big surprise, growth is one of the number one priorities of our clients. They're anxious to make sure that they're doing the right things for their clients. And also reflective in, in, this, in the surveys that we've done is the fact that they're retaining their clients. So we're seeing a 98% retention rate. But there is something that's on their mind and it's quite significant and it's succession. And as we talk about succession, we often talk about it as succession within the firm, succession of leadership, uh, legacy firms. But there's also a succession of assets that's beginning. Uh, the transfer of assets amongst generations is going to be critically important to the ongoing growth of advisor firms. So at Schwab, on one front, what we're doing through our uh, insights to action programs is trying to consult with firms about their succession. We recognize that succession is really a, at least a five-year process, maybe longer than that. And if you look at firms uh, that we surveyed, over 90% of them have said uh, of the billion dollar firms that succession is the way they want their firm to go forward. It's not sale, it's succession. And selecting people to join your firm, selecting principals and partners, you know, junior associates and those next generations is critically important to your culture. And so you've got to be careful in how you're picking, but you also have to be creating generations beyond the next generation. And so we're trying to engage advisors, uh, and we are very much engaged with schools, Texas Tech, UC Irvine, Virginia Tech. Uh, we're making sure we're out there with programs that are reinforcing what independence is and what RIAs do, and introducing them then to, adv to advisors. We have an intern program now running uh, in our Phoenix location with 10 uh, individuals, and, and we're taking them through all of the operations, trading, uh, and and conversations around strategies of advisors and they'll work in advisors offices and ultimately we want them to be hired by advisors not by Charles Schwab uh, in building that next generation so there's lots of efforts to build that foundation uh, but for certain if, if they don't diversify the look of their firm they're not going to participate as successfully in the future 65 percent of advisors told us they knew their growth was going to come from Gen X Gen Y and women uh, and they also recognized that diversity within their firm was going to be critically important age, gender, ethnicity, uh, and they know they're not where they need to be. In fact, many would tell you they're not understanding how to be successful yet with the next generation, and they certainly don't replicate that diversity that we've just discussed. And so they're working hard at trying to understand how to get there, and they have motivation. Uh, right now, the under 50 group uh, is accounting for $5.3 trillion in assets. That's motivation. Uh, but what we also see is that the boomers, and the older than the boomers, uh, after they survive their, or their income survives them, they want to pass that along to the next generation. We think $16 trillion will pass to the next generation before 2050. Uh, that's, that's over $20 trillion in opportunity to have. Advisors need to be recruiting new advisors. Right now, uh, there's only 19% of advisors under the age of 40. Uh, not, not good enough. Uh, women advisors need to enter into the marketplace. Firms need to look like the client base that will be coming to them. Uh, and we've been working with them uh, through executive education programs, through intern programs, uh, through the introduction to more sources of talent that potentially they can bring into their firms to help to combat some of this. But the other side of it is on the young. The young, you know, I believe they want what we always wanted. There's no real difference. They want what they want and they want it now. It's just they're going to want it a little differently. They're going to want it through technology. They're going to want it through social media. They're going to want to know that they're working with someone who can work with them for 30 years forward. So it's important that those people are in the firms and it's important that those technologies and business models. So we're helping firms, and there's some great examples of this, we're helping firms actually create alternative business models within their firm. One to cover uh, the group that they've traditionally covered, the other to cover per perhaps this new generation that's coming along and will want things a little bit differently. Firms de facto will be national firms because they'll be technol technologically connected with their clients. And as the money passes generations, uh, it, in effect, will fragment. It'll fragment in size, but it'll fragment in geography. Uh, and they have to be ready to deal with that. Mm -hmm.